the letter from the governor of the central bank set out certain payments that he says the central bank has decided that they are going to pay in priority to my client's uh, amount that they are to get. Now, the amounts that he spoke about included uh, repatriation of profits for some multinational, um, monies to be paid to some bank in Belize, and that th sort of thing. Let us not forget that what we're talking about, we're talking about compensation for the acquisition of property, a constitutional right. And if you were in court, I think you will have heard the uh, presiding judge strongly intimate what does that have to do with anything? When he referred to the letter from the governor of the central bank, he says it sounds to him like a tenant saying to his landlord, I owe you the month's rent, but I can't pay. What is the point of that? In other words, the government cannot bind itself to an agreement to pay US dollars and when the time comes, simply say, we are going to pay other debts. This is a charge on a consolidated revenue fund. It has priority. And I am confident that the court is going to order the government to pay the amount in US dollars. These priorities are not dictated or decided upon by the government of Belize. They are decided upon by the Central Bank of Belize. Um, I think the governor makes a point that last year, our foreign reserves at this stage were at 500 million. This year, the foreign reserves are at 400 million. This is before Hurricane Earl. So when people can't get foreign exchange at the bank, the pressure is upon the entire domestic economy, upon the entire banking system to produce foreign exchange. Um, the government and, and the, the governor, sorry, has to make a decision as to what US dollar amounts it will allow to be paid in priority to what?